Good morning guys, it's me in my dorm room again. I swear I do so many videos here, but today I'm going to be talking about something that might be affecting you. It affects a lot of people. Personally, it has never affected me, and I'm thankful for that. But I'm going to be giving you guys advice for hard gainers. So advice for people who have a hard time gaining weight and gaining muscle. So if you're one of those people, stay tuned. I'm going to give you lots of advice that's going to help you out a lot. And if you're if you don't even know what a hard gain is, still listen just because it's interesting and maybe you'll find some things that could help you. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right. So first, I'll address training. So, with your training, you want to be lifting weights so you can gain muscle and build muscle size. So, uh, find a strength or bulking muscle building plan um, somewhere out there. Eventually probably this winter I'm gonna start making plans I'll have a website and start posting plans for you guys to try out but for now uh, I just you could look some up uh, hopefully I'll try to get that stuff out soon if you have questions don't be afraid to DM me I'll help you out and if you need help find a plan I can help you with that too but you want to do a strength or muscle building plan and you you can do some cardio basically you want to lift weights okay you want to lift weights because that's going to be how you gain muscle and you can do cardio but just keep in mind that's going to make it harder for you to gain weight because the more cardio, cardio you do the more workouts you do the more you're going to burn calories and the harder it's going to be for you to gain weight and size okay now we need to get into the most important part basically the whole thing i'm going to be talking about today uh, for advice for you guys who are hard gainers is food okay everybody eats it but for you guys it's going to be have to be a little different okay so first and foremost you need to track your calories the very first thing i want you guys to do is start tracking your calories how much you eat in a day because this is important to determine all the rest of the advice i can give you if you don't know roughly how much you're eating then i can't really help you and this is super easy though don't get too worried you can use an app like my fitness pal uh, i use this app when i track my calories and what you want to do is you just want to track your meals for maybe a few days or a week just to get a general idea of how much you are actually eating because chances are you're not even eating as much as you thought so uh, track your calories track how much food and calories you are consuming uh, on average and then we can go from there so once you've started tracking your calories once you have a general idea how many calories you're consuming um, we're going to need to get into the topic that is pretty hard for a lot of people but it's simply for you hard gainers skinny guys people that have a hard time putting on weight you have to consume more calories you have to eat more um because you need to be in a caloric surplus to gain weight if you watch my five steps to build muscle which will be up here um that video i mentioned that you need to be in a caloric surplus to gain weight and build muscle so you're going to need to eat more because obviously you're not in a caloric surplus if you're not gaining weight so you got to consume more calories um you're probably not eating as much as you thought as you might have found out when you were doing the um, tracking your calories, you probably realized, wow, I'm really not eating that much food. But that's okay, I can help you out. This is gonna be difficult, but I have a great way to do that. And to consume more calories, the best way for you guys to do, and I want you to start doing it right now ASAP, is drink your calories. So what I mean by that is you simply don't worry about what you're drinking just drink calorically dense stuff because you're when you drink stuff it doesn't get you as full and you can get a lot of calories in that like a milkshake that's a lot of calories so what i recommend is after you work out or once a day when you have your protein shake which i hope you do so you get enough protein instead of just taking the normal protein shake blend it up in literally a milkshake like put some ice cream in there maybe some syrup that's calorically dense that's good stuff whole milk um, maybe even some pancake mix you blend that stuff up in there and that's gonna give you a really high calorie shake for not that much volume and that's what you want you want to get a lot of calories with a little bit of volume and you can get this high calorie low volume through calorically dense foods like peanut butter for example peanut butter nuts whole milk avocado you can get it in like high fats like fats not that bad for you especially if you have a hard time gaining weight you should try to eat more fat like get some avocados get some peanut butter because it's really high calorie and not a lot of volume it's calorically dense so you want to get more of these calorically dense foods in your diet so you're eating more calories for less volume eating more for less so it, that's what you want okay you want to get a lot of calories and still be able to eat more and not get super full 
So if you want more calorically dense food ideas, just Google it. There's a ton out there, but if you are not allergic to peanut butter, I highly recommend peanut butter all the time in every protein shake, um, every meal almost. You eat that peanut butter, eat some avocados, whole milks. There's a bunch of simple switches that you can do to more high calorie stuff. Almond milk to whole milk. Go from nothing to putting peanut butter on stuff. And it'll be super easy. Like you just have a spoonful of peanut butter if you really need to. Or eat like a, a trail mix, which if you go to my Instagram and you go to my food story highlights, I have my trail mix in there, I believe, somewhere. So I'll probably show that again. But um, yeah, you need to have calorically dense foods. That's something that's a must in addition to drinking your calories. And now another thing that you might not be happy to hear personally I'd be I'd love to hear this if somebody told me I could do this right now I need to do this right now I'd be ecstatic but it's you probably need to eat more meals so instead of having a like three normal big meals in the day like breakfast lunch supper instead of having those three you could have six meals so those three big meals and then three other little snack meals like one before you work out or have a bowl of cereal or have some peanut butter sandwiches just you're gonna have to find time to eat more and eat more frequently more meals in the day so you can make sure you're getting enough calories another thing you want to make sure you're getting enough protein in your diet um that's the most important thing for building muscle you got to make sure you're getting enough protein and that's recommended you get one to one and a half grams per pound of body fat or body weight that you have so if I'm 190 pounds I should get at least 190 grams of protein in my day that's what you should shoot for if you're trying to build muscle and get more size on you so a great way to do that protein powder I recommend BPN subs maybe I'll be sponsored eventually I'm hoping I'm flying but um, protein powder is a great way just focus on getting your protein in the day and then once you hit that, that's when you can just go berserk, getting as many calories as you can. Um, but protein's a necessity for building muscle, like I mentioned in my 5 Steps to Building Muscle video, which you can check out if you're wondering. And another thing, don't worry about eating clean, guys. If you are a hard gainer, you can't gain weight, like you just, for the life of you, can't do it. Do not worry about eating clean. That's why I said you throw ice cream with your post-workout or daily protein shake. You have ice cream, peanut butter, syrup, anything you want, really. If you're hungry, eat whatever, and like, don't be afraid to have some cookies and Oreos and stuff like that. Throw some whipped cream or syrup, all of that. Don't be afraid, like, in the end, it's not a big deal for you because you're not going to get fat from doing it. It's just going to help you with those calories. So don't be afraid to eat dirty. Don't worry about eating clean. Just focus on getting enough calories however you seem fit. I mean, honestly, I don't want you to eat all McDonald's every day because that's just not good for you as a whole. But... Um, don't worry so much about eating clean just get enough calories now remember guys this is it's not gonna be easy this is difficult you know this by now if you have trouble gaining weight but it's gonna require a lot of effort you just need to be patient and consistent and the results will come um, if you guys have any questions or want help personally from me you can DM me on Instagram which is linked in the description down below my ads grant underscore Johnson 25 uh, you can DM me there or comment here. I will reply if I see it, which I, I normally always see it. I will reply. I don't just leave you on open or anything. I want to help you guys. That's literally why I do all this stuff. I want to help you guys and I enjoy it. Um, but that's going to be everything. I hope this video helped. If it did, don't, be, or, uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up down below as well as subscribing and hitting that bell icon for more videos. I have one once a week. If you have any requests, ideas, you can drop them down below or shoot me a DM. I, I want to make what you guys want to see, so thank you for watching, uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.